I just recently finished uh, Mitch Albom's first phone call from heaven, and unbelieving, unbelievably, this book is extremely short. <coughs> it's only 300, well, including the acknowledgments, it is actually 300. 26 pages, well, 327, including the about the author page. It takes place in a small town called Coldwater, Michigan, and it's not the real Coldwater, Michigan. And of course, the author makes that point from the very beginning page. But um, interestingly enough, and intriguingly enough, um, one character in the book starts receiving calls from her sister, who's been deceased for years. Um, <clears throat> and of course this creates a media circus in the town and there are those who support it and those who protest it saying oh this is nothing more than a hoax it's a sham it's a scam um, and um, there are also some really fascinating facts about Alexander Graham Bell in this book which I didn't know at the first and um, Edison and uh, <laughs> those little factoids I, I thought were very delightful and enlightening and inspirational as well as um, educative. And the book itself is just uh, very heartrending and touching and it just uh, reinforces my belief that there's something beyond this world that um, this world is not our home. And um, even though yeah, I can I can say with a full heart and greatest confidence that I know that I am expecting that. I am looking forward to that, and I'm living the best I can while I'm here in, in existence on this plane. But there are still some factors about death that really scare me, and I know that sounds ridiculous, but I, I am afraid of death. I, I will admit to it. It's just because it's the unknown. Um, <clears throat> I've been close to it before, but um, never had an NDE or anything like that. I've read books about NDEs. Uh, there's a movie coming out called um, Heaven is for Real. Of course, it's based on the bestseller, and I'm really looking forward to it. It's coming out on Easter. Um, <coughs> A lot of shows out there to speak about the paranormal. I really enjoy them, like um, Supernatural. I've, I've just become a fan of Supernatural. It's really quite excellent. Uh, I like the characters and the paranormal and all that. I've I've always been um, intrigued and fascinated by the paranormal. Um, I'm still scared of what's, um, you know, dying. That whole the whole aspect of dying just doesn't really appeal to me, but um, I don't like to think about it too much, but I just uh, read a book like this, and then I have this calm reassurance that I am taking the right pathway, and I'm doing everything I can to be a good person and make the world a better place in some small fashion, maybe a fraction. I, I mean, I'm just one person, so... Um, this just has uh, the implication that if something like this were to happen, this is what we could expect. And the ending is actually very um, profound, I thought. And I'm not going to say what happens in the end, but if you're uh, intrigued, I would definitely pick it up. And Mitch Album, he just has a real knack for weaving a yarn that keeps you interested. And it's a book that will make you feel a little bit more comforted. I, at least for me it did. It, it gave me some reassurance because um, uh, the, the anniversary of my mother's death is coming up, which is uh, April 19th. She she died on April 19th, 2008, so it's been more on my mind. And um, I know she's still with me. She, she'll she come around in dreams and songs. Every so often I'll hear a song and I think, yeah, yeah, it's you, Mom. But, uh, I know she's looking down on me, and hopefully she's happy, and I know she looks after me, and a lot of other people look after me, and I get cosmic, what I call them, cosmic nudges. Um, there's no such thing as coincidence. Everything happens for a reason. We may not understand why, but everything happens for a purpose, and everything's made for a purpose, and we might not really get the implications as to what 
that particular purpose is. Like for me, I'm still trying to figure out what my purpose is. I'm still kind of a feather in the wind, but hopefully I can figure that out. I think this will be my year, but this book is absolutely incredible and it's very inspirational and I highly recommend it to anybody who's a Mitch Album fan.